Hello and welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Cast Blue. Today, more Tower of Babel. This is... Wow, that seems sort of fast. Is that... A cat claw? What even is that? Well, it's claw, obviously. Um... Sure, why not? So, um... This is probably a week or two after since the last time I recorded. I still have a bit of a cough, but it's much not as bad as before, so there'll be less absences, I think. A high potion! Absences and talking, that is. Okay, now what was the thing? Um, something about talking. Now then, as I was saying... Oh, frick, right. Okay. I switched everyone to ice-based weaponry because, hey, fire. It seems like the thing to do. Everyone but Rydia, that is, because she doesn't have any. Um, now, I would- I do actually have stronger alternatives, but everything in here is so weak against ice that it would be kind of stupid not to. Um... I opened that box, right? I did not. It's a phoenix down. Okay. Uh, hey, what's in here? Oh, hey. Look at that. How convenient. All set. Right after I save. There we go. Now then, on with business. Cut. Actually, you know what? Don't cut. Cause screw you, Kamira. And no, this is not what I meant by business. Although, in hindsight, it probably shouldn't be. Now, I should probably point out, I have done this part of the game before, but I do not remember where any of the bosses or treasure are. So, well, so I'm probably going to walk right into a boss. <laughs> Without being prepared for it. So watch out for that, because it's bound to be hilarious for you. As not only will I be unprepared, but the video will probably also, um, mock up the video length, which means I get to work extra hard trying to fix it. MONSTERS! You know, I really should have seen this coming. At least that's something that's easy to kill. Animus. Oh wow, did Rosa just kill it? Really? That's oh hey, ice armor! Let's throw that on. Mystery egg. I don't even. I probably shouldn't attack this. Oh well, it's dead now. Yeah. What? Oh wait, what is it hatching to? Well, I'm gonna play it safe. I don't think that's the correct solution, but I I don't want to see it hatch because I really okay. There's nothing in here. But yeah, because knowing my luck, it if it if I let it hatch, it would probably kill me. So I am filming this on Halloween. 
And I just got my hair cut yesterday. Why would I mention this? Because having my hair cut feels so good. I mean, I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with my hair. I like how it looks when it's long, but I hate maintaining it. So after so long, I just cut it really short. Monsters! But then I let it grow out for like a really long time. Like the last time I cut my hair before now was in May, I think. But like, you, all you people with long hair, you don't know what you're m missing. It is so nice to be able to feel things on my scalp. You just wouldn't believe it. Another Naga. You know, I sort of thought they might do that, but this is the first time I've had confirmation. Oh hey, an ice shield. Man, those chimeras are nasty. One of them, with a single attack, just took off half of Cecil's HP. And as you can see, while maybe not as much as some people... Wrong one. While maybe not as much as some people... Cecil does have quite a bit of HP. So, that's like 600 plus damage. That's enough to kill someone like Rydia. An Arctic Wind. I mean, keep in mind, Rydia has 750 HP right now, and that's after I increased it by 100 with two silver apples. Of course, having said that, they are kind of... As I was saying, Chimeras are kind of slow. You know what? I'm keeping it. And... But at the same time though, they are not weak against ice, like everything else in here. Actually, speaking of things that are weak against ice, I should probably check that. Um, well actually, so far Flans have been colored to their weakness, which is a little weird, but hey, I'm not complaining. Ye oh hey, that didn't kill it. Probably still weak against it though. Um... Scan, I think? Yeah, that's it. Vulnerable to Frost. Probably still only gonna deal one damage with a physical attack. But you know what? I don't care. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Let's try this. Ha 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 ha, I poisoned you, you bastard. <coughs> oh yeah, that did it. Uh, what's up here? Okay, that's probably the next floor, so... Let's... Let's look around. Okay now. Uh, in the box is... I potion! <coughs> Yay! Oh, by the way, Rosa, who is using Ice Arrows, which everything in here is amazingly weak against, deal last time she hit, she dealt 99 damage. So yeah, gotta get those Ice Arrows, you know? Which is really to say, you could give Rosa a small rock for her all she's going to be useful for offensively. Notice that she isn't useful. I mean, having a dedicated healer is awesome. But don't expect her to deal any damage ever. And what's up here? It's a room! Oh, this goes to the sixth floor, really? What the hell's in the middle, then? What? It's locked? The It's locked? Why the hell is it locked? Right, so I'm sorry, I'm just a little surprised to find any evidence that I'm going to need to be backtracking later on. I mean, seriously. 
What is this? Final Fantasy 1? Where I need to re climb through the whole Earth Cave twice because of the va stupid vampire and Leech's damn plate? Oh, that was so bad. So, so bad. Oh hey, this is new! It's Medusa! And a stone golem. I think I've actually fought the golem before, but... Hey, it's Medusa! Um... I'm not sure what she did to Rydia, but it seems to have worn off. What's in this room? It's a save room! Oh wow. You know what? I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a boss pretty soon. <coughs> actually... This just strikes me as the sort of place they would put one. Especially with that room down below. You know the locked one? Yeah, this is definitely going to be a boss. Um, well this is going to be a short video, but you know what? I don't care. It makes it easier to edit for me. So, <coughs> join me next time while we continue the Tower of Babel in Final Fantasy IV. Until next time, this is me, Chaos Blue. See ya.